楽な戦いだったわどんどん進もうチャド発見正体を見せろこっちが有利だ焦るなよ奪え油断はしないでね来いいただいていくHow's it going everyone? Today I'm going to be showing you the full fusion recipe for the Alice build you just saw. It's a pretty standard Alice build that can use die for me to take out random packs of enemies, and she has the potential to deal significant curse damage with the help of curse boost and curse amp. In Persona 5 Strikers, Alice is one of, if not the most important persona to fuse when preparing a team for Merciless. That, and she's actually just completely broken. I'm not sure who thought it would be balanced, but outside of major bosses and enemies that are immune to curse, Alice's die for me can actually kill anything. It's really broken and really awesome. Another thing that she has going for her are really strong combos. With square, square, triangle, triangle, she can cast Concentrate, and with square, 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 triangle, she can cast Mamudun, both of which are for free. But perhaps the most important reason for fusing her is that she is the sole source of Spellmaster, making it a requirement to fuse her if you want access to that in your in-game team. Oh, and if you like what you see here, be sure to leave a like on the video and consider subscribing if you haven't already. I'll have more Persona build guides coming out soon as I showcase how to build each of the Persona I used for my Merciless playthrough. And of course, if you have any questions about this video, Persona 5 Strikers, or any other game that I cover, you can always hit me up over on my Twitch channel at twitch.tv slash rosalindgaming, or over on my Discord server, both of which are linked in the video description. So before we move on, I should mention that the actual fusion footage shown will be done using the Japanese version of the game. This is mainly for two reasons. First, I've completed the game on the JP version, and thus have everything necessary. And second, while I do have the PC version of the Western release, due to an infinite black loading screen bug that halted my progress, uh, I'm not very progressed in the game anymore, though I did get the issue fixed. However, this shouldn't be an issue, as not only will I be walking you through the entire process, all relevant information will be displayed in English. So let's make ourselves a seriously overpowered Alice. Alright, so for this first step here, we need to pull out an Abaddon and a Mott. I've already done that, so I'll go ahead and show you what they look like here. This is the Abaddon, this is the Mott. The only important thing here is you need to make sure that your Abaddon still has a uh, Maegon. If you have gotten rid of it for some reason, you need to go ahead and get a base one so you can get that, since that is what we're going to be passing down first. And then we're going to come over here, we're going to take those two and fuse a Trumpeter. It uh, doesn't really matter what you pass down here, so long as you are passing down Maegon, since that's the, the main skill here. Alright, and for the next step, we need to pull out a uh, Nebiros, so I'm going to do that real quick. Alright, now I pulled it out, I'll go ahead and show you. Here is the Nebiros. And we are going to go ahead and fuse this with the Trumpeter we just made to make a Thor. Again, we're going to be passing down Iagon, nothing else really matters at this step. Alright, then for the next step, we need to pull out a Cerberus. So I'm going to go ahead and do that real quick. Alright, so I pulled out my Cerberus. I'll go ahead and show you. Mine's going to be high level, but that doesn't matter. It just needs to be base level. And then we're going to fuse those two together in order to make a Shisa. And of course, just with the last one, we're going to be passing down my Aegon and nothing else matters.
All right, and for the next step, we need to pull out a Mitra. So I'm going to go ahead and do that real quick. All right, I pulled my Mitra out. I'll go ahead and uh, show you what it looks like. Here it is. We're going to take these two, and we are going to be fusing us a Mithras. And once again, the only thing we're worried about passing down at this point is the Myagon. And for this next step, we need to pull out a Valkyrie. So I'll do that real quick. All right, and I pulled out my Valkyrie. I'll go ahead and show you. And there it is. We're going to be fusing these, these two together in order to make a Fortuna. And of course, we'll be passing down Maya going again, with nothing else really mattering at this step. Alright, and now we need to pull out a Hua Po for the next step, so I'll go ahead and do that real quick. Alright, I've pulled out the Hua Po, go ahead and show you. There it is. In this instance, we do need to level up the Hua Po, it actually needs to be level 46 for this next summon, so I'm going to go ahead and do that real quick here. If yours is already high level, don't need to do this, but if yours is like mine and low level, then you're going to need to go ahead and boost it up to 46, otherwise the fusion will not work. Then we are going to fuse these two together to make a Lilith, again passing down my goal. With nothing else mattering. Alright, and for the next step we need to pull out a Ganesha, so I'm going to go ahead and do that real quick. Alright, so I pulled out my Ganesha. Go ahead and show you. This is him. Uh, now we need to go ahead and level this up to level 51. Let's go ahead and do that real quick here. And this will be to learn Endure. Okay. Then also, before we move on, we do also need to pull out a Jack Frost. So I'll actually just do that real quick here. Where's Jack Frost? There he is. And in addition to having leveled up the Ganesha to 51, we do need to level up this Jack Frost to level 43. Otherwise, the uh, summon will not work. Let's go ahead and do that. Alright, and then we're going to fuse these two together to make a Kurama Tengu. And we're going to be passing down Endure here. Alright, so for this next step now, we need to pull out a Valkyrie again, so I will go ahead and do that real quick. Alright, now I've pulled out the Valkyrie, showed it to you last time, don't really need to show it to you again here. We are going to be fusing the Kurama Tengu and the Valkyrie together in order to make a Naga, and we are going to be passing down Endure. The others do not matter. The others being the other skills, of course. Alright, now that we have our Naga made, we need to pull out another Hua Po, so I'm going to go ahead and do that real quick. Alright, now I have pulled out my Hua Po, don't need to show you again, but as like uh, with the last time, we do need to level up this Hua Po to 46. Now, of course, you could register this Hua Po at 46 the first time you do this, that's fine. Uh, it's just Persona points are, they basically grow on, a, grow on trees, you can get them with ease, whereas money can be slightly more difficult to come by, um, which is why I choose to. Just use Persona points to level them up each time as opposed to registering them at a higher level and wasting money. Just because it's easier. Uh, but either way, we're going to fuse these two in order to make a uh, Raja Naga. Or as it's called in Japanese, a Naga Raja. Yep. And we're going to be passing down Endure again. With the others not mattering.
All right, and for this next fusion, we need to pull out a Sada Savati. So I'm going to do that real quick. All right, and I pulled out that Sada Savati. Let's go ahead and show you what it looks like. Mine is going to be level 99. You only need it to be level 48 for this summon. Um, I use it. Mine's 99 because it's my, my main healer for uh, Merciless Mode, but, uh, you know, build guide coming for that in the future. Uh, but for now, level doesn't matter. You just need to pull one out at level 48 or fuse one if you haven't had one already. We're going to fuse these two together to make a Nebidos, and we're going to be passing down Endure. Again, nothing else really mattering besides Endure here. Alright, and for the next step, we need to pull out an Adahabaki and a Seth. So I'm going to go ahead and do that real quick. Alright, so I pulled those two out. I'll go ahead and show you. Uh, let's see. This is the Adahabaki. This is the Seth. Now we need to level up the Adahabaki to level 52. Uh, in the process, if you haven't already learned uh, Curse Boost, I have due to other fusions and stuff like that. If you haven't already learned it on here, you keep it because <laughs> that's what we're one of the reasons we're leveling him up right here is to learn curse boost again mine already has it due to previous fusions i have done and had him registered like that uh if yours doesn't just learn it and keep it there uh, because we're gonna be passing it down here as we are going to be making a yatagarasu with these two and we're going to be passing down the curse boost we just got then nothing else matters other than the curse boost to the pass down All right, next we need to pull out a Thor. So I'm gonna do that real quick. All right, so I pulled out the Thor. I'll go ahead and show you. There it is. Again, mine's 99, because it's my main uh, electric persona, but uh, yours will not be, it doesn't need to be for this fusion. So just ignore the level, you just need a Thor for this. Uh, and we're gonna go ahead and be fusing these two together to make a Cerberus. And of course, we'll be passing down Curse Boost. Right, and then we need to take this Cerberus and we need to level it up to level 59. This will cause it to learn Enduring Soul, which is what we want to keep. Okay. So now that we have that, we need to move on to the next step. We need to pull out a Forneas. So I'm going to go ahead and do that real quick. All right, I've done that already. Let's go ahead and take a look at the Forneas. This is what it looks like. Uh, again, mine's level 99 because this is my main Psy persona. Uh, ignore that. <laughs> again, all these ones also that are level 99 that are my main persona, I will have build guides coming out for them in the coming days and weeks, however long it takes me to get them out. But uh, for your purposes here, you just need a Forneas. It doesn't actually need to be level 99. That's just because that's what mine was registered at. So. Uh, but either way, we're going to be fusing this Forneas with a Cerberus to make a Kali. And we're going to be passing down Curse Boost and Enduring Soul. Alright, so now we've done that, we need to pull out an Archangel. So I'm going to do that real quick. Alright, and I pulled out the Archangel. Go ahead and show you. There you go. Now we're going to fuse this Kali and the Archangel to make a Lamia, passing down Curse Boost and Enduring Soul. All right, and now for this next step, we need to pull a Slime and a Barith. So I'm going to go ahead and do that real quick. All right, so I pulled those two out. Go ahead and show you. 
There's the Barith. There's the Slime. We're going to be fusing these three together and making an Eligor, making sure to pass down Curse Boost and Enduring Soul. Okay, so now we've done that, we need to actually level up this Eligor to level 42. Go ahead and do that real quick. This level up is not to learn any skills, it's just simply because we need it to be level 42 for the next fusion. And speaking of the next fusion, we also need to pull out a Mitra and a Kaiwan. So I'm going to go ahead and do that real quick. Alright, so I pulled those two out, go ahead and show you. the uh, Mitra, the Kaiwan. Now for this fusion, again, Eligor needs to be level 42, Kaiwan needs to be level 37, Mitra actually needs to be level 39, so if you're like me and yours is not level 39, you need to go ahead and level that up real quick. Alright, and then we're going to fuse these two together to make a Kurama, three together to make a Kurama Tengu making sure to pass down Curse Boost and Enduring Soul. Alright, and for this next step we need to pull out a Mothman, so I'm going to do that real quick. Okay, and I pulled out the Mothman, go ahead and show you. There he is. Now for this summon, the Mothman does need to be level 54. So we are going to go ahead and level up Mothman to level 54. Right, and then we are going to fuse this Mothman and the Kurama Tengu together to make a Four Nance. Again, passing down Curse Boost and Enduring Soul. And my cat is banging at my door trying to get in. <laughs> Sorry kitty, I am currently recording. There are stuff in here that you should not be touching. I will give you attention later. If you hear the banging, it's my cat. Uh, but either way, now that we've made this Fornaeus, we need to pull out a Mott. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that real quick. All right, so I pulled the Mott out. We already saw it, but I'll go ahead and show you again. There's the Mott. We're gonna be fusing this Fornaeus and this Mott together to make a Dominion. And we're gonna be passing down, of course, Curse Boost and Enduring Soul. Alright, and for this next step, we need to pull out a Bugs. I'm going to go ahead and do that real quick. Alright, now I pulled the Bugs out to go ahead and show you. And at this step here, with the Bugs pulled out, you should have Bugs, Dominion, Nebidos, and Lilith all in your stock. And now we need to level all four of them up to level 65. And with Nebidos, we will also be learning Curse Amp in the process. So go ahead and level them up to 65. Be sure not to overwrite any of the skills that we've been passing down, otherwise it defeats the purpose. Oops. Okay, then Nebidos. Again, this one we want to make sure we learn Curse Amp. And not get rid of it. Okay, Dominion 65. And the reason we're leveling these up to 65, um, not just for Curse Amp on Nebidos, but also because it's required for the summon. And that summon is to fuse Alice. We're just going to pass down everything we've, want, we've been uh, bringing up to this point. So, Endure, uh, Curse Amp, uh, Maegon, 
Enduring Soul, and Curse Boost. Alright, and the last step to complete this Alice is to level her up to level 90. Okay, then we're going to keep Budo Boost, of course. We're going to keep Die For Me, of course. And we are definitely going to be keeping Spell Master. And there you go, that's the Alice. Now, if you wanted to make some changes for this, like if you just didn't care about having the curse damage, obviously this would be a whole lot simpler. You could drop the curse amp, curse boost, and the Maegon, and maybe put some uh, absorbs or firm stance or whatever. That's really up to you. Um, but this is the way I built her. Worked out really well for Merciless mode. Um, honestly, 90% of the time you're going to be using her as a concentrate bot or a die for me bot, but you know. It's nice to be able to have the option to deal some serious curse damage whenever you need to. But either way, I hope this was helpful for you. Uh, I'll be putting out some more build guides uh, in the coming days. Um, basically, I'll be making my entire team that I use for Merciless Mode. Uh, I'm not sure which one I'm going to do next. I'm going to see uh, if there's maybe some people who are wanting to see a very specific persona from my build or not. So if you, anyone in the comments, if you, any of the ones I went through that I had at level 99, if there's one specifically you want to see, uh, let me know and my you know, do that one next, but uh, we'll be going through all of them uh, in, you know, the coming days. So if you're looking forward to that, be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. And if you enjoyed the video, do be sure to leave a like. And if you have any questions, of course, uh, leave a comment in the comment section or hit me up over on Twitch or in uh, my Discord server. All the links to that stuff is in the video description. And uh, yeah, until next time.